such a nice view. What's going on guys? Welcome back. I uh, hope you guys are well. So guys, today is an exciting day. I'm going to get my x-ray done after six weeks. Dr. Philip said six weeks uh, before I can start walking, moving, doing any form of exercising. So anyway, I'm gonna head out. We're going to throw my boot on and we're gonna go down and drive to see Dr. Philip and get this x-ray done. Hopefully, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be absolutely fine. And we can, uh, yeah, start running jumping, playing sports. Yeah, I really miss it. All right, so now we're off, off with my spare leg. I will ask the question to him though. If it's true, if your leg feels really, really good, no pain, no swellness, walk, doing a bit of walking, will that help it and recover quicker? And is that good? for the bone and for the ligament. I don't think he will say it would be good for the ligament, but we'll see, we'll see. So, fingers crossed. How are you? Yes. I have to quickly get an x-ray. I really, really hope I haven't done anything bad. I'm worried about the ligament. That's the biggest issue, is the ligament. But I think you'll be okay. And it's gonna be quite cool to see the scan, actually. Whoa. Oh, wow. No, no. So you trust my surgery? Mate, your surgery, amazing, really good. I need to see you walking uh, yeah. with no pain. I, um, yeah, walking no pain. Uh, question, mm -hmm. if I have no pain mm -hmm. in my foot, no swelling, and I'm putting it, I'm just a bit of bearing weight just to test it, and it's okay, if I walk on it, will that make it heal faster or make the bone stronger? This is an extremely good question. The, the bone is a live structure. So it means if you, for example, if you don't put your weight on your foot without any problem, you know, you decide to not put your weight uh, during four weeks, mm -hmm. the bone will be, become uh, very weak. Weak? Yeah. You know people, for example, people who are unfortunately in the ICU, they are long, long time uh, lying down, they mm -hmm. can't walk, they, they lose the quality of their, their bone because a, a bone needs to, for the, the physiology of the bone, we need to move, we need to put the weight. But when you have a fracture, of course, if you put too much weight, you will break what was done. So it's a sort of a balance that you have to find. Putting the weight enough to stimulate the consolidation of the bone quality, yep. but not too much to not compromise the... the so a little bit of walking is good. Yeah. But I was I was worried like here it looks like the bone here it's like still looks like a bit like cracked or something. You know it's uh, six weeks so it's not perfectly perfectly consolidated. It is consolidated. We don't see anymore the fracture as it was. But of course you need more time. It's going very well. And if you look at the, the X-ray on the AP and lateral, you see the fracture. We still see a little bit here of uh, things. So. It means that uh, it's going well, mm -hmm. that you can continue to put the weight now. I'm not telling you that you can jump, <laughs> All right, of course. Yeah. So we need a few more weeks to be uh, perfectly consolidated and strong. But now we can move forward in the physiotherapy, movement and everything. The round part here, that's what's the inside. That's the sore, the sorest part, is that? Where is the pain? You know, it's a big injury. Yeah? No, I think it's, it's here, actually. <clears throat> when yeah. you had the fracture, the fracture was this movement, okay? Yeah. Disruption of the ligament here, and disruption a little bit of the ligament here. So yep. it means it's a complete uh, injury of the ankle. Relax. No, it's good. Perfect. 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 Don't worry. Awesome. Not, not uh, still not 
finish, but perfect for six weeks. And how long can I start running and stuff and playing rugby again? So, uh, running is uh, three months. Three? Yes, still, still the six weeks for running. You can swim, you can do the bicycle, you can do a gym, you can do this kind of thing, but uh, there is still a risk to, uh, to run. So I would like to see you in six weeks. And physio stuff I can start here? Yeah. First is first. I've got this nice thin band, and I'm going to tuck this underneath this chair, which has a lot of my clothes on it, <laughs> and also has a weight underneath, so it's gonna like keep it nice and strong. Um, what I'm gonna do here is, hopefully you guys can see me. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna tuck one foot underneath the band like this. Yeah, hopefully you can see that. We're gonna do here is we're gonna bring the foot all the way to the left, all the way back. Try to focus and just try to rotate the ankle to the outside and then tucking it back in. What this is doing is just getting a bit more uh, mobility, sort of working on the smaller muscles through the ankle there. 12 to 15. Uh, my ankle starts to get sort of quite fatigued quite easily, um, but yeah, it's just helping it. And, Get more support, I'm trying to get myself back moving through there. Uh, the next movement we're going to do is virtually the same thing. <laughs> we're going to now get the, the inner flexion coming in towards the body. So we'll start again, nice sort of strain there, and then we're just going to pull it back inside. <laughs> Go again, we're pulling it back, rotate, pulling it back. Oh, stupid chair. Rotate in, up, rotate in. Another exercise we want to work on is getting into that nice lunge position here. Hold here, nice and straight. I'm gonna raise the cut. Raise the cut. Nice. So we're trying to work on that lower calf, really engaging with the ankle. This is a first. There's no one else in here. That is actually the first time. Um, I'm always coming here and it's always packed. Someone's always in that Swift machine. Someone's always using a couple of the weights, um, using the treadmill. So what I'd like to do here, after I've done my bit of physio work with my ankle, I like to sort of spend 20 minutes on, on the treadmill and I like to try to get a nice incline at about sort of 10 to 13 somewhere around there and the pace between about five to six and let's just sort of walk uphill just for 20 minutes you know uh, gives me a good little fat burn and just gets the heart rate going a little bit and a bit of a sweat until i get into my weights and proper training a lot of people they do training where they're jogging on a non-incline at about seven eight kilometers an hour and they'll run for about 40, 50 minutes, you know, to try and get that maybe 300 calories in that sort of 40, 50 minute window. I literally walk, just walking at a six, six kilometers an hour, walk for about 20 minutes at about 10 to 13. At the moment I'm doing 12.5. If I literally can be consistent and walk like this, I'll burn about 300 calories in 20 minutes. And we're activating the glutes more, we're activating the calves. Woo, get you going. All right, so we're just going for 26 minutes now. And we've got 350 calories. Not a bad effort. Who knows this machine is right. Could be slightly wrong, but uh, get a good sweat. <laughs> very, very sweaty. Another three minutes to go, and we'll jump off and uh, get right into it.
Okay, so after four sets of the back squats and also the single leg inverted lunges, we're gonna go over to the leg extensions and also the leg curls. And we're gonna focus on the quad and also the hamstring to really build and contract that muscle. Let's go. Because of my ankle, it's quite sore around the ankle and having the actual um, the support of the machine on my ankle area there. It's going to try to get this up a little bit higher just so we can target a little bit higher so we don't too much stress and pain. So on the eccentric phase, we have a nice slow, 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 and then contract, squeeze, slow, 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 contract. Slow, 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 slow. Contract. Slow, 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 slow. And we're just basically building the tension on the quad. Slow, 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 slow. Slow, 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 The last rep, we're just gonna hold for about six, eight seconds. Three, two, one. Also, we'll go for a drop set. So after we've sort of maxed out on that weight, we'll immediately drop the weight by about five, 10 kilos, and we're just gonna go again. Slow, 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 slow. Drive up. Slow, 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 slow. Drive up. Slow, 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 slow. slow. Drive up. Woo! And then gonna move over to the hamstrings now. After training, I like to get some good nutritional food into me. We have a poke bowl here. So we've got some chicken, some salmon, got some uh, noodles, and a bit of sort of mango and avocado, some lentils, bits and pieces. And uh, we've got this amazing view. So very, very nice. I'm just probably just gonna relax today. We do a bit of, a bit of Spanish. Um, Hola, me llamo Charlie. Como tu llamas? <laughs> yeah. um, so I'll do a bit of Spanish and then um, normally I like to go to the pool for an hour and just do some tanning, but obviously it's not that great. So yeah, then tonight I've got to train some clients, um, got to go to the rugby and coach some kids at rugby. So yeah, pretty fun day. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed uh, that video and I'll see you guys for the next one. Hopefully I will do some traveling soon. I'm not sure. I'm thinking either the Maldives or seashells or something like that. So be exciting to do another vlog discussing that. If you guys like the video, write a comment, give me a thumbs up, and write what do you want to see in the next video, whether it's more training stuff, more vlog, more my personal life, whatever you guys want to see. Take care.